but we fixed it right before the big huge drop. Anyway, I don't even know. Sometimes, sometimes this Fisher Price internet world that I live in is just too much. It's just too much. Oh, and I forgot to start this thing. That could be something. That's gonna be some cool noises. Let's hear these. Let's hear these cool noises. That's big. Detach. There we go. Now I can make sure the thing's working the way I want it to. Yay, we're here. What's up, everyone? Tonight, there's going to be a, a notification in a second. Maybe not. Anyway, tonight we are starting. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Told you. Tonight we are starting one of my favorite games ever and ever, ever and ever, Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time, not Orcarina or Arcarnia, which I've heard some people say. It's Ocarina of Time. So, that's what we're playing. Get right. I need you guys in the chat to let me know if I sound okay, look okay, um, all of the okay things. Is it not showing up? Of course it's not showing up. Yay! Live issues. Let's just make a new global source. Uh, Hello, Z2. Okay. Let's make sure this is working. Oof. Frames. Y'all, I hate AT&T. They're just the worst. Let's do that. Let's see what that's like. Okay. And let's add... Hey, look at that. There it is. If you guys are not aware, tonight we are playing the... Um, what's it called? GameCube version of this game. So that's fun. And edit. Aha. Hopefully that's good. The little indicator on the bottom tells me that's not good. But we will see. Ah, that's good. Alright. Weird high pitch whining. It's probably it's probably my my air. Hang on just a second. Sorry, brain. Sorry. Sorry. Hopefully that's better. Did not realize that the air was coming on. I had turned it off. Hey, you know what? It's all good. It's all good. OBS does not like my internet, and that's okay. We're playing this game anyway. Can you see me okay, frame? Can I do it sound okay now? Hopefully I'm alright. I don't know. OBS is saying, no, you're dying. But Twitch says I'm fine, so... We'll see. We will see. Anyway, we are playing Ocarina of Time. The, um, what's it called? That, the, the, the GameCube version. Yeah, it's the GameCube version. It's like a, it's not really a remake, but it's like a, it's like a upscaled, slightly upscaled emulation of the first game, or of the, you know what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. Edit, edit this scene real quick because the scene freaked out on me. Let's let's do this real quick. Edit this scene. Bring it to there. And bring this in. Almost. Hey, there we go. All right. New game, new scene, <sighs> fun stuff, fun things all around. Do you guys have any any thoughts on what I should call this, this person? There's only one correct answer, so I'm doing it. 
I remember this game very fondly. Because I got it for Christmas in 98 uh, when it came out. Top notch, amazingness, super good. Um, Arguably one of the best games of all time, of all time, but oh, it's just so good. Like I've said uh, before, if you're just joining us, um, please let me know if I sound okay. I'm uh, trying a, new, a few new things out. If you can hear me, thumbs up. If you can't hear me, thumbs down. Let me know in the comments over here on the left, or my left, not your left, your right. I guess I don't know. Just type something. Say hey, I can I can hear you fine, or you're doing great, or yeah, I can't see you or hear you or where everything's bad. Brain gives me a thumbs up. So Brain, Brain is my friend. OBS, which is the software I use, is kind of freaking out a little bit. Don't know why. Don't know why, but it is. Anyway, we're playing this game, and it's pretty much its original glory. It's got a few upscales to make it a little bit better. A few small improvements, but it's mostly, mostly intact. All 20 frames a second. And everything, because that's what the original ran at, is 20 frames a second. I'll have you know. Oof. It is, uh, something. Also, the Great Vicar Tree is the only person who talks in, like, Shakespearean. Like, old school. Weird. I don't know. But, no one else in the game talks like that. Just him. Dost thou sense it to the climate of evil? Like, no one, no one. We're just going to enjoy the story for a little bit. As much as we can. I'm going to read it, and if you can read along with me, that's fine. Um, if not, good news, you can play this game a myriad of ways. The way we are playing it is through an emulator called Dolphin. Not because uh, I don't own this game. I have almost every single version of it at this point. I've got the original, um, I've got the 3DS remake, which is amazing, which I originally wanted to play, but there's no 3DS emulators that are worth their salt uh, at all. So, the original game, that one. I've got the Collector's Edition um, GameCube disc that uh, was only sold at GameStop for a while. I've got the Master Quest thing that came when you got uh, Wind Waker. Uh, I've got the Wii Edition. If I had a Wii U, I'd probably have that edition also. I just I have all of them, but I'm playing it on an emulator because it lets me stream, and I can play with this cool thing. But I'm probably going to buy a, a, a GameCube USB controller because I want one. So, yeah. Anyway, um, if you want to play this game, and you don't want to shell out a bunch of money for it for like an original copy on your 64, um, the Dolphin Emulator is a good choice. Um, I'm not recommending that you steal a game. I'm just saying that if the options that you have are to not play this game or steal it, steal it. It's it's so worth it. It's so good. Um, or you can just get it on Wii or Wii U. I mean, it's like ten bucks. I think it's not bad. Absolutely play it. Must play. She's Navi. Here's the thing about Navi. You are gonna hate her by the end of this playthrough because she's the worst. She's almost as bad as Ashley from last week's, from the last game. Oh, I remember spending hours just, not hours, lots and lots of, more time than you should just doing this. And like, oh, one to one move. Oh, it's so good. Anyway. <coughs> Here we go. There's a few small glitches that calm down. It'll be fine. Calm down. Got my Zelda shirt on. Zelda shirt. Hi, Link. Hi, girl. Um, we could do a cool trick, or we could just walk down like normal. I'm just gonna walk down like normal, and then I'll do a cool trick in a second. Wow, a fairy! <laughs> I 
the Great Dagger Tree has summoned us. Because we're the we're not the best. What are we? We're something. We're Coker right now. So that's good. Alright, so first part of this game. Kokorai Forest. This just at this little part in 1998 blew little John's mind. I thought this was the height of everything. And there's Navi already being annoying as I'm talking. She just will pop up and say, hey, a lot. So, to talk to her, push up on the C, it, there's a C button, but I'll deal with I need to get some coins, aka rupees. So I'm gonna bust these rocks up. There we go. Last one. Really? There it is. Uh, let's go talk to this Joker first before we know. The, like, I already know what we're supposed to do, but that's not fun. We gotta try and pretend, you know, for entertainment. This is Milo. He's the worst. Hey, Mr. No Fairy, what's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. What? You've got a fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What? That's, I imagine, what he's saying. So. I'm oh, sorry, not Milo, Milo. Mido. Why would he summon you and not the Great Mido? Hey. Let's be real, that's the best impression of him. That's it. I don't believe it. I'm not even fully equipped. Okay, so I need a sword and a shield. Good news. Sheesh. So, our task is set before us. We must get a sword and a shield. The good news is, a shield is just 40 rupees. That's it. Just 40. Hey, oh. So, we've got 17. We're about to have a little bit more. Terrible. Terrible jump. There we go. There we go. It's not true. He's lying. They're lying. It's okay. Come on. There we go. Oh. Did you guys see any of the Breath of the Wild stuff from E3? Because if you didn't, you need to go look it up. It looks amazing. Look at that, we've already got 34. We're almost there. Best sound. We're, we're good. We're good. Alright, got me a sword. And we're gonna tear it up. Tear it up. 
not pulled up. Oh gosh. This might not end well. It's gonna end well. Hey. Alright. So we've got all we need. Current well, almost. There's a, a, there's a, a, a blue ruby, which is worth five, in the shop itself, so we're, we're good. Chop these things down. Just because I can. Don't need to. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Chopped it up. I don't want to stop. No, I don't want to talk to you. There's no benefit. It's just introducing how to play this game. See, I told you. We got it. We got it. We got it. We did it, guys. Oh. Such fun. Nope. See ya. Alright. Uh, typically a good idea to save. Like I said, we're playing the GameCube version, so that's what happens. The menu is 60 frames per second, the game is not. And that's very funny. If you want to see the great big gooch, I'm not doing it. I'm not. Do you guys have any memories of this game? If you do, let me know. Good grief! A wimp is still a wimp, huh? Well, kind of not, because I have weapons of destruction that I could stab. I just wish you could. Right to Mido. Right in the girl piece. Come here, you. Yeah. Oh, dang it. Dang it, I can't do it. Oh well. No big deal. No biggies. How spooky. That's a Deku stick, by the way. If you don't know. We will be using it. Very sure. The good thing about this game is that all the items that you get, when you get them the first time, it tells you what they are, and then it never tells you again. Because there's no need. Because, like, you get it. Thou hast returned, Mink. Welcome. Nope. Nope. It was. Verily thou hast felt it. Yeah, let's do it, bro. That's probably what he said, right? <laughs> I'm never listening to her. Never. Nope. Don't care about her at all. She's the worst. That'd be sucks. Good news, though. We ain't gotta worry about her. Good chop. Alright. First dungeon. That was quick. I love it. Gosh, I love this game. Man, I love this game. Nope. 
then the Razzle Dazzle, y'all know about that. Near you. Yep. Come on. Come on. Leave me alone. I want this thing. <coughs> Thank you, nut. There we go. Ball -er. hmm. It's still amazing to me, like. This is a 64 game. It's very obviously a 64 game. And normally, it's pretty, like, evident. Oh my gosh, stupid fairy. It's pretty evident when you're playing a 64 game that it's, like, they don't age super well, typically. 64 games are, like, they look kind of like garbage. This, is, this doesn't look good. I'm not saying this is, like, amazing. I don't have rose with the glasses on. But, for a Nintendo 64 game, it handles and looks fairly decent, especially at sub-30 frames. I, I don't know. Just, in my opinion, I am H.O. They look terrible. Boom. Come here, you boom, bop. We did it. Oh, the Deku. Deku, whatever. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Basically, just again, more exposition on how to play this game, because remember, this is one of the first uh, fully 3D um, adventure, like really good adventure games. So, they gotta explain how to do stuff. Totally fair. Totally fair. Especially for moments like this, where you're like, oh! Right. Doing awesome. Ugh, the sneak showed. Come on. Boom. That's why, you get, that's why you guys are here. It's the high quality gameplay like that. If you, you, know, you roll off, then you immediately roll and hit your head again. That's what you're here for. I get it. I get it. Here's another one. See ya. This took me forever to figure out when I was eight. Ten. Man, I was ten when this came out. That's crazy. Eighteen years ago. No. Yeah, eighteen years ago. Woof. Woof. Old. Hello, oldness, my old friend. Hello, oldness, you old jerk. More like it. Oh, yeah. This part. High quality gameplay. Highest quality. I should have this. Yep. That's right. I know that's right. My internet's just like struggling to be like, nah, you're good. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, no, you're not. I love these like metallic textures. It cracks me up. It just cracks me up. People are like, oh my gosh, it's so realistic. It's so realistic. 
the game and they unlock some cool stuff if you get all of them and I have not decided if I'm going to try and get all of them in this run but if you'd like to see it let me know because I'm so excited it basically would make this a 100% uh, playthrough which again on a 64 game I could probably do it's not too bad not too bad it's a little bad Actually, these guys are pretty easy to kill. Too, so. Spin. One, one jumping slash. That's it. Then you just jump off here. Into this giant pit. Oh, look at that! It took me forever to figure out when I was 10. I was like, there's no way they would possibly want you to jump off of this giant cliff into that spider whip. But they do. Want you to die to be a child. That's what happens in Nintendo. They constantly wish death on children. That's not true. Don't quote me on that at all. Do not quote me on that at all. Because they might get mad at me. They might, I mean, probably will. Cha. Yeah, okay. I'm just shooting Ah! I'm good at this game, I promise. I promise. Ooh, alright. The key with this is like you want to get all of them. Oh, whoops! You want to get all of them while you're here because you don't really come back here. There have been several playthroughs that I've done where I'm just like, I'm missing like three. Where do I go? And it's like, oh yeah, the very beginning of the game. Duh. Where no one's looking. Ha! You can also put a giant stick away before it burns out because they will burn out. If they burn out, then they're gone, but if you put it away, they magically don't stay on fire, and they're fine. Two, three, one is the... Yep, this is the order. Look at that. I've played this a few times. Just, just saying. Do you think I'm a traitor? Yes, this guy is a traitor. Definitely a traitor. Eventually, we'll be able to put on some cool boots and do some some walking, some walking on the water. Just saying. It's, oh, OBS, you are you are crazy. But saying like I have zero connection at all. It's cracking me up. That texture's not so good. Either. Texture on that little platform is not so good. Let's take a, let's take a look see. Not so hot. A little pixelated. That's okay. This game count came out 1998. 19.
Hey, do you guys like annoying people in games who tell you all the things that you already know how to do? Well, if you don't, too bad. Because Navi is here. We'll say the fact that they got this whole thing like all of the functionality, most of the functionality that you need in this game, whittled down to like one main button. Pretty amazing. Don't even come at me. You can typically tell in these kind of games also, and I think Zelda does a really good job of this. You can do, they do a pretty good job of just like subtly letting you know what to do. So like, at the beginning, you saw that like, when you hit that, uh, when we first fell down into this little well, there was that switch that we stepped on, and it made fire pop up. And you're like, oh, okay, well, it fire can clearly burn um, torches and spiderwebs, right? So when you go to this room, you just kind of typically know, oh, I'm probably going to need to set some stuff on fire. Without them ever actually just like explicitly saying, by the way, to turn things, to, to set stuff on fire, uh, get a thing out, watch this, as it, as it burns down, I can put... As it burns down, I'll, I'll put it away. Still have it. Whip it back out, it's fine. I'm not gonna say we come back out again. That's not. Nope. Anyway, Zelda teaches you stuff without you realizing it or being taught. Pretty awesome. That's what I was saying. That's a promise. That was it. Ah. You're demon babies. Ha. Not too hard. Somehow I took damage from them, because, you know, I'm good at this game. I promise, I promise I am. He's not, he's really bad at games. So again, like, another perfect example. You come into this room, from over here, you kill some stuff, you look around, you go, okay, well, I want to go that way, but I can't. And I want to go that way, but I can't. What do I do? Oh, there's a torch. Cool. Well, I guess I'll light this on fire then. Let's see what happens. Also, I think it's hilarious that you need a bomb to get through that. And there's no bombs here in this game for, like, probably another hour or two of gameplay. But they they just get to it immediately. It cracks me up. It's it's a pretty notorious thing that like they do in Zelda games. They just they, they throw like one weird dungeony one thing in a dungeon that you can't actually do like at all at the very beginning of the game, hoping that you'll come back to it. You never do. You never do. There's no point. So this part also took me a while to figure out. So again, remember like we've we've been learning how fire fire can you know, knock stuff out. We're all good, okay. Well, cool, there's a there's a guy up there, I can't reach him. And two more, one, two, can't reach them. Okay, so I know I need to probably do something with that. I can last my jump on it. But now there's nowhere for me to jump from so I can't jump on it, so what do I do? Well the only other way that we've seen like to get rid of it at this point is fire. All the things are too high for me to get to except for that one down there. So, you know, obviously this is just something most people just push immediately, which is fair. It's totally fair. But, uh... So, yeah, hey, look, small notification lets you know you're doing well. Oh, hang on, just a sec, guys. Just a second. some people from the office who are going to watch and I don't know if they're watching or not. People from the office if you're watching, say what's up. If you're not, well, you can still say what's up. But, you know. Anyway, like I was saying, so we're here. And, um, so we can see, like, okay, well, the only thing I can do is get to this one. 
but how do I get from it being up here to it being like on the ground? Well, the only other things I can do at this point are crouch, which I don't even actually don't know if that would work. That'd be amazing. I'm gonna try that because I don't typically do that. Do it that way, but we're gonna try it. It does. That's so cool. So you can do that, or what I have always done, literally every single time, is you roll across it. And this thing go like that, and it touches the ground. Anyway, again, in a 3D space, 1998, this was unbelievably cool. Another big, huge well. Thought I was gonna die, but die. Feel good about it. All right. So remember what the the pattern was. So I assume one, two, three. Two. Three. And then one. You gotta catch him. You gotta catch him. How did you know our secret? Your brother told me. He's a jerk. He asked if he was a traitor. I said he was. The coup de grace. Oh, first boss battle. I don't know if you guys know anything about like the um, the speedrunning culture um, thing. I don't know much about it, but um, this is one of the most speedrun sick fire. Yeah, dude, the fire, the fire graphics are just up there. This is one of the most speed ran games um, ever, and it's just got like the craziest there's a there's a thing when you go when you cross that threshold you, there's a there's a specific thing you can do and I don't I don't know the specifics of it but it lets you warp to the end of the game as young link it's it's amazing the things people figure out are just amazing now brain my favorite graphics are these mist graphics right here and that wall graphic right there that wall graphic though not high def I think there's more pixels, like, in... Ah, oh, jeez, look at that. Some part you need to roll with a dacus stick and fire to burn away. It took me like an hour. Yeah, we just passed that part, man. We just passed it. So this is really cool. This is a cool part. All the, the, the stuff goes out. You see stuff falling there. You know, like, look up. Up oh, in the boss battle. Already in it. I think my chat might be a little bit behind right now. Anyway. Come on. There we go. Dang it. Feel real bad. This is actually terrible. Come on, come on. Ah, looks like a sweet MS Paint job. Uh, yeah, the best of MS Paint. Come on. There it is. Finally. Finally. I think my chat might be a little bit behind. Let's see what's going on. So, this is one of the optional things you can do. You can either get these things or not get these things. We're, we're going to get these things. Because. Duh. Yeah. Ooh. My ears. 
My ears are hot. Hot ears. All right, so we beat Goma, first boss. Pretty awesome. Huge tree. I don't know why this guy keeps talking like this, but you know, it's all right. <laughs> now I have yet more to tell ye. Wouldst thou listen? Yes, when you pick items up, <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing. Wicked Man of the Desert. AKA one of the best bosses in the game history. One of the best. All 20 frames a second. Majestic AF. This evil man says his name is about sorcerous powers. That's right, that Triforce, though. That Triforce, though. Ah, oh, this freaked me out when I was a kid. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm just gonna be quiet here. Hour into this game. So cool. I also heard that they spent most of their, or a lot of their time figuring out how to do that metallic texture on the Triforce itself, and then because they figured out they thought it was so cool, they were just like, well, we're going to use it on a bunch of stuff, which is why it's on, like, the Deku seeds, which don't need to have a metallic texture, and, like, all these other things. Alright, basically, don't let the bad guy into the weird temple thing. That's about five minutes behind. Good. 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 Doom before you started.
Alright. We're gonna do something real quick. I'm going to first save, just because I need to. I'm gonna pause it again. And I'm going to actually restart the stream, simply because chat is really far behind. So, don't go anywhere. Be right back. 